All right, Larry Kruger here for the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video. Check out Pig and a Pickle. Two locations, Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week in both spots from 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. or until they run out. Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. All right, today what we're going to do is a little, uh, little exercise. We're going to project what the 49ers final 53-man roster is going to look like on August the 29th when the 49ers cut it down. Now, right now they're at a camp roster. Um, the camp roster is 90 men. They're going to cut it down to, to 53 men. And it's it's not going to be an easy deal. It absolutely is not going to be an easy situation. But let's go into it. We'll share the screen here. And we'll take a look at what we're talking about. Um, and we'll go through and just kind of go through and look at the roster. Now, um, basically, this is the 53-man roster right here. Uh, I'm using, for the sake of this little exercise, Our Lads. Our Lads is the uh, is the 53-man roster I'm going to use. So, okay, let's go through it, and um, we'll go position by position, and we'll cut it down to 53. Um, at quarterback, I've got, you know, Ultimately, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can cut this thing down. But I'm going to go with Brock Purdy, Trey Lance, Sam Darnold, and Brandon Allen's moving on, either via trade or via a cut. So I'm going to go with the best three quarterbacks, and to me, it's Brock Purdy, Trey Lance, and Sam Darnold, three quarterbacks. All right, let's jump to running back. Um, the running back list is, I mean, the 49ers have a real deep running back room. You got Christian McCaffrey. You got Elijah Mitchell. You got Jordan Mason. Ty Davis Price. Now they have Jeremy McNichols. They also have Kalen Laburn. Not to mention Kyle Huszczyk and Jack Coletto. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight players, and three of them got to go. Um, and there's always injuries. There's always trades, that kind of thing. And, you know, you can you can look at it any way you want as far as, um, you know, who goes, who stays. But for me, the way I would look at it is Christian McCaffrey, Elijah Mitchell, Jordan Mason, Ty Davis Price, and Kyle Huszczyk. Those are my five. Those are the five I'm going with. I'm going with five total running backs, okay? So that means... Um, McCaffrey, Huszczyk, Elijah Mitchell, Jordan Mason, Ty Davis Price. So I'm cutting Jeremy McNichols, who they just signed. I'm cutting Kalen Laburn and Jack Coletto. I'd love to have Laburn and Coletto on the practice squad, but that's that's something that has to be worked out after the cut down to 53. So Coletto's gone, Laburn's gone, McNichols is gone, and I'm going CMC, Elijah Mitchell, Jordan Mason, Ty Davis Price, and Kyle Huszczyk. Those are my five running backs. Um, okay, now let's move on to tight end. Tight end is very difficult as well. Some years the Niners have kept three. Other years they've kept four. Um, because of the way the roster is and how deep it is, I'm keeping three. And I'm going to keep George Kittle and then the two rookies, Cameron Latou and Braden Willis. Um, Latou has not been that impressive. He's dropped the ball, but I think it's really just because his head is spinning. Braden Willis, to me, is the tight end, too. And I'm cutting Troy Fumagalli, Ross Dwelly, and Charlie Warner. So I'm going three tight ends. Kittle, Latou, and Willis. Goodbye to Warner, Dwelly, and Fumagalli. Um, let's move on to wide receiver. All right. Uh, I'm going with five wide receivers, and I'm going to make it real simple. Um, I'm going to go with the same five that was on the team last year. Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, Juwan Jennings, Danny Gray, and Ray Ray McLeod. Danny Gray is is really an important player because he runs off the defense. He's got that kind of speed. Ray Ray McLeod's a great return guy. He also is a gadget player. He's a veteran. He can be trusted. The tough one is Juwan Jennings because I really like Tay Martin and I really like Ronnie Bell. But I'm going to try to, I'm going to, unless I can trade Jennings and I, I, and I would at least let it be known around the league that if you want Juwan Jennings, he could be available. 
Unless I can trade Jennings, I'm going to go with Jennings. If I can trade Jennings, then I'll go with whoever is more impressive between Tay Martin and um, and Ronnie Bell. Um, so that means I'm cutting Chris Conley. I'm cutting Tay Martin, Ronnie Bell, Willie Sneed, Daz Newsom, and Isaiah Winstead. I'm going to try to get Tay Martin, Willie Sneed, and Ronnie Bell back on the practice squad. Um, odds are I'm going to lose one of those guys. So, um, you know, I think Willie Sneed's a veteran you can depend on. Uh, Tay Martin and Ronnie Bell, though, if they if Tay Martin and Ronnie Bell have great preseasons, I may try to trade Jawan Jennings and give the, his spot to uh, to one of those guys, whoever's the better of the two. But the five I'm going with are the same five they had last year at wide receiver: Debo, Ayuk, Jennings, Ray Ray, Danny Gray. Okay, so now we are at. Let's see. We've done we've done quarterback, running back, tight end, and wide receiver. Now we're at offensive line. Um, I'm going to go with eight offensive linemen. I'm going Trent Williams, Aaron Banks, Jake Brendel, Spencer Burford, Colton McKivitz, the starting five. I'm going with John Feliciano and Nick Zakel on the bench, and um, I'm trading for a veteran left tackle or a veteran swing tackle. Um, or I'm signing Tom Compton or I'm going outside the organization. I'm not going with the guys inside. Um, they just, I just don't trust them enough. So what does that mean? That means that Matt Pryor, Jason Poe, Jalen Moore, Alfredo Gutierrez, Ilm Manning, who's been impressive, Keith Ishmael, Corey Luciano, Leroy Watson, and Joey Fisher are all going to get cut. I'm going to try to – my backups are going to be Zakel and Feliciano. <clears throat> I'm going to try to trade for a, thir- a swing tackle, maybe Lael Collins, maybe Deontay Smith. I'd be knocking on the Bengals' door for one of those two guys. And then as far as the practice squad, I'm, I would like to have um, Il Manning and Joey Fisher um, and possibly Jalen Moore on the practice squad, if possible. Uh, I definitely want to have two of those guys, most likely Il Manning and Joey Fisher. But um, I'm going with eight. So there you go. There is the the offensive side of the ball. I've got 24 guys on offense, five quarterbacks or three quarterbacks, five wide receivers, five running backs, three tight ends, eight offensive linemen. So there you go. Uh, Three quarterbacks, five running backs, that's eight. Three tight ends, that's 11. Five wide receivers, that's 16. Eight offensive linemen, that's 24. 24 players on offense. All right, at the specialist position, I'm going Jake Moody as the kicker, Mitch Wisnowski as the punter, Tabor Pepper as the long snapper. So between the offense and the special teams, I'm now at 27 roster spots, which means I have 26 roster spots left on defense and let's jump to the defensive side of the ball and this is going to be tough as well um as far as defense is concerned i'm going with 10 defensive linemen and my 10 defensive linemen are nick bosa javon hargrave eric armstead drake jackson javon kinlaw kevin givens austin bryant Cleveland Farrell, Spencer Wagey, and Taco Charlton. And if I can find a better defensive end on the on the market, then I'll probably not go with Cleveland Farrell. Um, but that's what I'm going with. That means that there's a lot of guys who are pretty good getting cut. I'm cutting Robert Beal. I'm cutting Kerry Hyder. Um, you know what? The more I look at that list, I'm actually going to go Nick Bosa, Javon Hargrave, Eric Armstead, Drake Jackson, Austin Bryant, Kevin Givens, Javon Kinlaw, Alex Barrett, Spencer Wagey, Taco Charlton. I'm putting Alex Barrett on there. So that means the I'm cutting Cleveland Farrell, who some people think is going to start, Kerry Hyder, Robert Beal, 
T.Y. McGill, Kalia Davis, Marlon Davidson, and Dalen Hayes. And I'll try to re-sign Robert Beal uh, to the practice squad, maybe T.Y. McGill. Um, that's tough because Kerry Hyder has been a useful guy on this line for sure, and he's got a great motor. But Alex Barrett, if you can't find another edge rusher, he, to me, can provide edge rush, and I think he can provide more edge rush than Hyder and more edge rush than Farrell. So I'm going with Alex Barrett. Um, and I'm going with Spencer Wagey over Kerry Hyder and Cleveland Farrell today, as we see it today. All right, let's let's jump to the linebackers. Um, in my projection for the roster, I've got 10 defensive linemen. I've got six linebackers. I'm going Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw, Marcelino McCrary Ball, Jalen Graham, D. Winters, and I'm going to go with Curtis Robinson. And I'm going to try to trade Oren Burks and Demetrius Flanagan Fowles. I'm going six backers, Warner, Greenlaw, Marcelino, Winters, Graham, the two rookies, and Curtis Robinson. Those are my six backers. And I'm saying goodbye to Oren Burks and, and Flanagan Fowles, and I think I can trade those guys for a seventh-round pick, or um, I think they're too good to cut. Like a team like the Raiders, for example, I think would love to have those those guys. All right, let's jump to safety. So now we've got 16 on defense, and we can take 10 more. So I'm going to go four safeties and six corners. My four safeties, Tayshawn Gibson, Talanoa Hafanga, Jair Brown, and George Odom. Those are my four safeties. Um, so that means Taylor Hawkins is, is, is cut. Now with my six corners, I'm, I am going to go six corners, and the six corners that I'm going to go with are Mooney Ward, Diamador Lenore, Isaiah Oliver, your starting three, Deshaun Jameson, Samuel Womack, that's five. Now this six spot is interesting. I see when when you're talking about this, I mean there's there's really four guys going for that sixth corner spot. It's Darrell Luter, but he may start the year on PUP. There's Ambry Thomas, there's Quantrez Knight, there's Trey Swilling, there's Miles Hartsfield, AJ Parker and Anthony Averett. Um, I'm cutting Parker and Hartsfield and Averett and Trey Swilling, and I'm deciding really between Luter, Ambry Thomas, and Quantrez Knight. Now, if Luter starts on the PUP, I can keep him, and then I'm, then it's between Ambry Thomas and Quantrez Knight. I kind of like Quantrez Knight, and I think that Quantrez is is a little bit more dependable than Ambry Thomas. Ambry Thomas is better deep speed than Quantrez. Quantrez, I think, is a little bit more trustworthy. He's also a little bit more versatile. You can play him at safety or at corner. And I think I'm going with Quantrez over Ambry Thomas. So my six corners would be Lenore, Gibson, or Lenore, Ward, Isaiah Oliver, those three, Womack, Jamison, and Quantrez. Now, if Luter is ready to play week one, I'm cutting Ambry Thomas and Quantrez. Luter is going to make the team over those guys. But if Luter starts on the pup list like he's on right now, then it's a choice between Ambry Thomas and Quantrez Knight. And I'm going Quantrez. I'm going Quantrez. I think Ambry Thomas may have more skill to play corner in the NFL long term, but overall, um, overall, I think that, that, um, you know, Quantrez is a little bit more versatile. I think he's a little bit more dependable. So there you go. That's the, uh, the final 53 man roster. It's, it's 10 D linemen, six linebackers, four safeties, six corners, three specialists, eight offensive linemen. The, la the, the swing tackle is somebody I'm going to trade for who's not on the roster. Five wide receivers, three tight ends, five running backs, three quarterbacks, and that's your final 53. So 
let's go through the list and say, well, who is ultimately cut here from the team? Here's who's cut. And 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 I actually think there's a very good chance that the Niners could get a day three pick in a trade for Brandon Allen, for Oren Burks, for Demetrius Flanagan Fowles, uh, for Jack Coletto, for Zane Gonzalez, and maybe even for Ambry Thomas. So I, I think there could be some trades that come down where the Niners are trading these players for day three picks. Uh, I would not be surprised if at least a couple of those guys were were traded in the 11th hour there early on on the 29th for seventh round picks because I think Zane Gonzalez is is better than most kickers out there and Oren Burks I think is it would be attractive to a number of teams the Raiders and others Brandon Allen as well uh definitely those three guys I think could net you day three picks but here's my cut list Brandon Allen Kalen Laburn uh Jer- Jeremy McNichols Jack Coletto, Chris Conley, Willie Sneed, Ronnie Bell, Tay Martin, Isaiah Winstead, Daz Winsome, or Daz Newsome, Corey Luciano, Il Manning, Alfredo Gutierrez, Keith Ishmael, Leroy Watson, Troy Fumagalli, Trey Swilling, Anthony Averett, A.J. Parker, Matt Pryor, Jason Poe, Demetrius Flanagan Fowles, Oren Burks, Ambry Thomas, possibly Quantrez Knight as well if uh, Luter starts on the active roster. Uh, Tazino, the linebacker, Dalen Hayes, T.Y. McGill, Kerry Hyder, Charlie Warner, Robert Beal, Joey Fisher, Miles Hartsfield, Taylor Hawkins, Marlon Davidson, who's another good player. I'm, you know, he's a hard guy to cut. Uh, and then Zane Gonzalez. So as you can see, it's going to be a very, very competitive cut down. And it's going to be very difficult to figure out who to cut and who not to cut. But that's my cut down as, as it sits right now. Um, now we'll see our first preseason game on Sunday, Niners Raiders. There'll be two more that follow after that, and we'll get a real good indication. And that will, this list will change. This list will also change based on what other players around the league get cut, um, on by their respective teams. You know, I'm hearing a lot of talk out of Chicago that the bears may cut chase Claypool. Well, you know what? Chase Claypool, um, I think, you know, with his athletic profile and his upside potential, I'd have a hard time not signing him. Um, I might want Chase Claypool. I saw the De- Cowboys may cut Neville Gallimore. I'll, you know, I love Spencer Wagey and some of their D linemen, if, but if Neville Gallimore's out there, I think I'd rather have Neville Gallimore, uh, the defensive tackle. I think Dallas has two ju- defensive ends I'm going to be keeping my eye on at the cut down. Tyrus Wheat and Junior Fajoko. And if those guys become available, I might have interest in them over some of the defensive ends, backup defensive ends on this roster. I may even carry an 11th defensive lineman and try to go with five linebackers um, if that's the case. So there's different ways that this thing's going to be changed and altered as the cutdown gets closer. But that's what I have it at right now. And, um, and we'll see what they look like Sunday in the first preseason game and then two more to follow. And then, of course, the big day, August 29th, cutdown day. And the only player that I have on the roster that is not on the roster right now would be the swing tackle. I think the 49ers very well could trade a draft choice to some team for a player like Lael Collins, like Deontay Smith from Cincinnati. Um, And I think there's a high likelihood that the Niners swing tackle is not necessarily on their 90-man camp roster right now. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of The Krug Show. Thanks to all you guys for supporting The Krug Show on YouTube.